There's not a single study which shows that exercise helps you live longer. And when I started looking into that, I found that there's never been a single professional athlete ever lived to be 100. My red flags began to go up because if exercise was good for you, there should be a significant percentage of professional athletes living to be 100 because nobody exercises more than professional athletes. And they get paid to do it, you know, so they're not going to cheat. Well, you start looking at some of the famous athletes that should have done well, people like Jesse Owens, the first man to ever win four gold medals in the Olympics, in the same Olympics, he died at 66. Jim Thorpe and Red Grange, and there was Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, and Sugar Ray Robinson. Wilt Chamberlain just died a couple of years ago at age 63 of congestive heart failure. The, the Grinkoff, Sergey Grinkoff and his wife, they'd won four gold medals in the previous year, two in the Olympics and two in the World Games. And he dies at age 28 in a heart attack in November of 1995. Cardiomyopathy heart attack, a simple deficiency of the trace mineral selenium. And then Reggie Lewis, captain of the Boston Celtics, 4% body fat, as fit as a human being could be. Great young man, died at age 27 of a cardiomyopathy heart attack, a simple selenium deficiency. Dr. James Cornyn, he was a cardiologist from Paradise, California. His wife was a cardiologist. They had two cardiologists under the same roof. Okay? And they were exercise free. They didn't take any vitamins, minerals, and trace minerals because they believe you can get everything you need by eating your basic four food groups. And despite doing everything right, despite having two cardiologists under the same roof, Dr. James Cornyn dies at age 48 of a heart attack. He was a coach and an athlete. His name was Dr. Tom Dowling. He was a PhD type of doctor. And he was a vegan, a vegetarian that did not eat any animal products whatsoever. He only ate perfect mixes of grains, legumes, vegetables, fruits, and nuts. This man was considered a master at practicing and teaching yoga around the world. Ran the marathon every month, 26.2 miles every month for 25 years. When he was 47 years old, Tom Dowling got an irregular heartbeat and he did what he thought was the righteous thing to do. He went to the top cardiologist in Kansas City, Missouri, who put him on a treadmill and he did the treadmill, the stress test, an hour after the treadmill, he drops dead of a heart attack. According to the Center for Disease Control, 100,000 kids under the age of 30 in America die each year from heart attacks and other sudden causes of death during athletic events. 100,000 a year. According to the Center for Disease Control, 300,000 Americans die each year over the age of 30 while they're exercising or participating in some sport. The reason why athletes don't fare so well is because athletes sweat more in five years than couch potatoes do in 75 years. When you're sweating, you're not just sweating out water, you're sweating out a soup that contains all 60 essential minerals. They're called essential minerals because if any of them are missing for any length of time, you have some horrible degenerative disease, many of which are life-threatening. So this is a no-brainer. Who's more likely to die of one of these life-threatening mineral deficiency diseases? An athlete who's sweating out quarts and quarts of this mineral-rich soup every day, or a couch potato in an air-conditioned den, laying on the couch,